Hi, it's Gab, and I'm reviewing a new film called One Day, based on the book, which I've read. It's a romantic drama, I would say, uh, set in Britain. It starts in the 80s, and the main uh, conceit of the story is that the two main characters, Emma and Dexter, in the film played by Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis, um, meet when they're young, just out of university, have a, an evening, one evening spent together, and then go on their separate ways, but also do not go on their separate ways, stay in touch. The relationship develops uh, through letters, through uh, encounters over the course of approximately 20 years. And the way the book is set up is that each chapter is the same date each year, July 15th, of each year, um, we see where uh, each character is in their own lives, the ups and downs of their own, you know, finding their own path in life, and also how their relationship is intersecting or, or perhaps separating and overall developing over the 20 years. And of course, I mean, using the word romantic is not a spoiler. There is a romantic uh, element um, to the story. Will they, won't they? Um, but more or less, it's, it's about the friendship, um, although there's lots of underlying feelings involved and, and things that happen that uh, bring them together and perhaps uh, tear them apart. So as I say, it's Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis. No, I'm not very familiar with Jim Sturgis uh, other than from across the universe, um, but he's very charming in the role as Dexter. Who's Dexter? He's sort of a playboy, um, you know, devil may care. Uh, he, his arc is a bit uh, more of the sort of trouble finding himself kind of arc, uh, but he very uh, likable and very believable, very well cast. Um, even when he's uh, messing up, you know, you still you still like the guy, and you can see how um, a, a woman would be um, have him on her mind over over many years. Um, Anne Hathaway is Emma. Interesting casting. Obviously, she's not British. Not that that's a problem. I think she pulls off the accent. I'm not a British accent expert, even though. Uh, dad, as you guys have noticed, is British. Um, I think she pulls it off, although there were some parts where the, the acting came through. And I'm not a huge Anne Hathaway fan. I have to uh, put that on the table. as She's just always very Anne Hathaway to me, trying a bit too hard. But her, the casting here was fine. I mean, devotees of the book, it is a popular book, will probably be happy with the casting. Uh, they have nice chemistry. Um, there's some parts of the relationship that to me ring a bit false. To me that's more of a structure story issue, um, but there were also some parts uh, on screen where, where quite lovely chemistry, um, touching, believable moments. So um, I think that uh, the filmmakers did quite well with that. Regarding the structure, I also think the filmmakers did quite well because it's a bit of an artificial, awkward structure, this one date over 20 years. And I was curious how they would handle it, and, and they did it well. They, the filmmakers picked the choice, the key moments that I think aptly demonstrated the characters' evolutions, the relationship, and of course they had to let some things uh, fall by the wayside. And uh, the pacing and the, the way it was portrayed on screen, the passage of time, felt mostly quite natural and well done. The pacing was maybe a bit slow, but that's also the nature of the story. It's a romantic drama. There, It's not a Michael Bay production. Um, so again, fans of the book, I think, will find it a, a, a faithful um, and pleasing adaptation. I was mixed about the book. I found it entertaining, but ultimately, as I said, a bit, a bit false, a bit cliched and um, slightly gimmicky and so I would say the same things a bit about the film although overall the film had some nice feelings to it as well. If you like romantic dramas, book adaptations, British accents, attractive people and grainy retro locales, I think you'll like this film but it would be a rental. I mean there's a lot going on in the summer movie season, not something you have to run out and see. It'll be interesting to see how it does um, based on you know the book's popularity, um, but it doesn't always translate. I think it's a good example of a of a book to film, but not everyone's cup of tea. I'd give it three out of five gabs. Thanks for watching.